Huge partnership here for T-Mobile. Absolutely huge partnership. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And here we got an article. This is actually a joint, um, joint press release. Walmart has their own. T-Mobile released one right around the same time. This, could, this one comes to you from T-Mobile's newsroom. I will leave a link to it in the description so you guys could check it out. So this might be a bit of a longer video, so grab your coffee, your donuts, and, and, and stay tuned. So T-Mobile launches in Sam's Club as exclusive in-club wireless provider. So we got that out the way. They are now the exclusive wireless provider at Sam's Club. AT&T out. Done. And I didn't expect nothing, nothing else. It was, it was just happening too quickly at too large of a scale where we started seeing, okay, at and out, T-Mobile's in. We started just seeing that at too great of a scale for this, what you're seeing on screen, not to be the case. So I, I wanted to clarify that right off the bat. I was fully expecting T-Mobile to get this type, type of partnership. T-Mobile is now available in nearly all Sam's Club's locations, offering members major value when making the switch to America's leading 5G network. So you get... You get some value, you get some, you get some great value, great deals on devices. You also get, get Sam's Club's gift cards. Um, I, I think I saw up to $60 that you can spend in store. You can, you can spend that $60 on, um, on renewing your membership, getting that cheaper. So you can spend that on whatever you like. So let's read off briefly here. T-Mobile gives Sam's, Clubs a, uh, Sam's Club a splash of magenta today. T-Mobile announced it's expanding its retail presence by launching in nearly all Sam's Club locations as the membership chain exclusive in-club wireless provider. Now new and existing Sam's Club members can shop the latest T-Mobile devices and plans as well as T-Mobile's 5G home, home and business internet directly with T-Mobile's award-winning mobile experts. And then there's, there's quotes and everything else so you guys could check that out for yourselves. So... Now I wanted to give you guys my commentary to, to clarify this a bit because publicly um, T-Mobile won't, won't discuss it this way. So for one, did T-Mobile absolutely need this for additional success to their business? No, absolutely not. They didn't need this. Before any of this happened, T-Mobile was already growing at a successful rate. They were already expanding their own retail distribution. And this was... This was possibly likely the result of them getting out of Best Buy and having maybe those additional leasing funds available and, and just saying, look, we're going to create, we're going to just spend it at, at Sam's Club. Because if you guys remember, T-Mobile was inside of Best Buy for a little while and then they got out. So that is, I'm speculating, but that's the possible result of, of them getting out of Best Buy and now getting into Sam's Club. So in my opinion, what did they really need Sam's Club for, right? Is this really going to change the trajectory all of a sudden and, 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 and ex accelerate T-Mobile's growth tenfold? No, this is not going to do that. What this is going to do for T-Mobile, it's going to bring brand awareness. The brand is already strong, but T-Mobile is trying to make that brand even stronger. And if you go to more places as shoppers, consumers, whatever... And you see T-Mobile, you're more inclined to think, hey, T-Mobile is, is getting better. They're, they're, they are bigger now. They are a better network, especially if you see them everywhere. And that's what they're trying to replicate, in my opinion. Now, is this a good thing? Of course. Like I said, the brand awareness alone makes this a, a huge partnership. As I mentioned in a video yesterday, in order for T-Mobile to get any types of partnership or the types of partnership that Verizon's getting and extending those partnerships, T-Mobile is going to have to really embrace the grind. And that doesn't just necessarily mean from a networking perspective. No, they go, they're going to have to bring this type of brand awareness that you're seeing here with the Sam's Club membership to, to, eat, to, to everyone. So they can see like, hey, the big and bright magenta, we are here and we are ready to serve you and we are ready to compete. Now, I'm not saying that T-Mobile is not going to get any sales uh, from Sam's Club. Of course, that's, you know, that's nonsense. They are going to make sales. And in some cases, even for me, this now puts a T-Mobile store closer to my home location. I don't have to go to a T-Mobile store now. I can just drive up the street and go to the Sam's Club 
and upgrade and, and do what I need to do. I can do that at Sam's Club. So that's that's more of that convenience factor. And maybe this helps some suburban and rural areas that have maybe a closer Sam's Club nearby versus a T-Mobile store. It is still the case. T-Mobile still has an expanded retail distribution to cover where they cover with network. So this might also grow the retail distribution in rural America. We have to also take that into consideration and look into that as well. So that's what I feel this brings to the table. This brings brand awareness across the board. If you're now nearly in all Sam's Club locations and you booted out AT&T from a brand perspective, I mean, people must think like, oh, snap, AT&T's out, T-Mobile's in. That means some people are going to perceive it that, oh, T-Mobile's better than AT&T now. Some are going to perceive it that way. And then it's just from a foot traffic perspective, right? The cell reps, they have now every opportunity to sell, 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 sell. I mean, there's tons of foot traffic in the Sam's Club. So this makes that environment ideal for, for a T-Mobile expert. It makes it, it makes it ideal. A lot of foot traffic. A lot of those people have, probably have AT&T because of that you know, exclusive partnership that AT&T has had for years. So now you just go, you just go in and, and, and sell. That's all you got to do. And then reps are probably going to rotate in and out so, so everybody has equal opportunity. And I am told all of this is, is, is corporate. Again, John Fryer believes in the corporate model. I've discussed this with the members before in more detail. If you'd like to join that, a link to that will be in the description. Yes, John Fryer believes in the corporate model. He wants to get away from, from the third-party authorized retailer. That, that's probably going to take some time. There's still some authorized retailers out there, but he has diminished that footprint, um, you know, trimmed it down, and he's trying to open up more locations, um, corp you know, with the corporate in mind. Now, I've seen it here. We were a big authorized retailer a market for them. They've had some corporate locations, maybe like one or two here, but most other ones had authorized retailers, and it was several different authorized retailers it wasn't all just one authorized retailer from what i remember and they've closed that footprint down they've closed like five stores in my area that were authorized retailers and they're trimming that down so now i have two corporate locations in fairly close distance the one in the sam's club and and one in an actual t-mobile store so let me know what you think about that in 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 the comments i want to hear from you guys because this is this is a this is an important step for t-mobile any opportunity that's out there, they're seeking it. This was an opportunity. They didn't have to take this. I've heard, and this is just her, this is this is unofficial speculation because it's not official, but I heard that Sam's Club and AT&T got into a contract dispute. That Sam's Club was trying to charge more and, and AT&T didn't want to pay. That's what I heard. And then T-Mobile kind of stepped in and quickly took over. Now, I don't know what deal was reached. They didn't disclose it in this article. It's likely a beneficial a partnership for both. And this will probably lead to Sam's Club getting, getting more memberships, possibly, and T-Mobile getting more customers. So it's, it's beneficial for both. And I think that's – I'm confident that that's how they structured this partnership. So moving forward for T-Mobile, um, brand awareness is very important. So – from a retail perspective, I don't see them striking many more deals. I mean, they're already in Walmart. They're now in Sam's Club. They're in Costco. So, I mean, there, there aren't many more retailers to get in terms of the kiosk, right? They're in most malls. Um, they have very strong retail footprint across most metro areas. They have huge share there. So, understandably that they – and they took over some of the Sprint retail locations as well. So from a retail distribution perspective, unless it's rural America, I don't, see, I don't see them doing much else. That footprint is already, already very strong and brand awareness there now with Sam's Club is, is huge. So what else can they do, right? They, they, they can do a few other things maybe, but, you know, Sprint tried Walgreens. I don't know if that did anything for them. 
Um, they tried Radio Shack. I mean, Radio Shack clearly closed and, and, and went bankrupt. So that I don't know if that did much for them. Um, but, you know, who knows what else is T-Mobile, what, what else they're working on. But this is huge. Great brand awareness in huge parts of the country. And maybe this helps suburban and rural bring stores closer to them versus what it was previously. So just wanted to share that with you guys this morning. We'll probably discuss this throughout the day. Um, there isn't much else really to discuss here. They, they, This is a big ad for what they offer and what they advertise. But they're now in Sam's Club. The partnership is official. They are the exclusive in-club wireless provider for Sam's Club. So make sure you guys stay tuned, like, share, subscribe. If you are new, follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Live. See y'all in the next one. Peace.